Greetings! Everyone keeps saying they want to see this thing in action. Uh, me too. Let's do that today. Okay, we're going to jump right into it because I got a bunch of extruded aluminum over there and uh, weather guy says rain is coming. I don't trust that weather guy. Not after last time. So here's how it's going to work. I'm going to light this. I'm going to get the mix going pretty well. Then I'm going to throw these in. These are two uh, ingots, two smaller ones that are the non-cast aluminum to form a pool in there first and then we'll plunge the extrusions into that. Then we'll make ingots with that. I'll use some of the tools I just made. I got a bucket of water behind me to quench them. We'll try to get this hammered out really quick because it might start sprinkling pretty soon. So yeah, curse that rain, stupid rain. If only I was in a desert. Actually, no, I don't want to be in a desert. Deserts sound unfun, although pretty. Hmm, quite the quandary. Anyway, let's get going. Light it in the normal way. All right, we are lit. Nope, lit. Okay, increase the airflow. Yeah, that's a much more non-death looking flame. More airflow. You know, I can't see what the flame looks like. I don't see any yellow, which is good. Yellow is too rich. I don't see anything. I, I hear it burning. There's tons of heat. I can sort of see a fire, but eh. I'll drop these in to get those melting. That'll create what's called a heel. I, I guess that's good. It's fairly quiet. It's much quieter than having a hair dryer. Let's try getting the roof on there. Roof? Lid? It's not a house. It doesn't have a roof. I don't know why I said roof. Huh. Seems like if I put the lid on completely, then the fire kind of goes out-ish. Not really out, but not great. So I gotta leave it just cracked a little bit on the top, and it stays burning. So I'll probably have to babysit this. Make sure it all goes well. So the reason I'm just making ingots today is uh, it's a, just a trial run of all my equipment. I've been doing a lot of trial runs lately, but I've also been making a lot of new equipment and trying to learn how to use it. Also, I don't really have any uh, patterns that I want to cast in, in aluminum right now. Well, I do, but not in, not in extruded aluminum. I want to use like cast and cast aluminum with a silicon in it. And I have a bucket of that back here, but I'm going to try to get these out of here first because these are taking up space in my garage floor. They're like six feet long. Also, since I'm really pressed for time this weekend, uh, well, with it being Easter holiday weekend, uh, I, I just don't have time to ram up all the molds and all that stuff, although I do have a lot of patterns. I've, been, I've been kind of been making patterns at night. My wife got me a uh, wood carving set, so I've been carving up some patterns, a bunch of patterns. So, you know, that'll be fun pretty soon once I get this all working. Honestly, I don't think I'm going to be using this one. Degassing. That's for removing the hydrogen. These are just ingots. I don't care if they got holes in them. Here's a fun experiment. How hot is the outside of that already? Uh, it read a lot hotter before I pulled my hand away. <whistles> Pretty toasty. My gas valve is not. The gas valve is only 85 degrees. Not bad. I was a little worried with it being so close. Well, looks like my thingy broke. Shined it straight into the fire. And it says it's 23 degrees Fahrenheit. No problem. Matter this thing's junk and I should just toss it in there and get its fiery death over with. Okay, it's been going for about 15 minutes. The hot end of the pipe is only at 240. Valve 100. Might want to get that valve further away from the burner, now that I think about it. So if these extrusions aren't too great, uh, as far as metal goes, why am I melting them, you might ask. Well, one, melting is fun. Two, you can use it for alloying purposes. So, again, this is going to be a lot more metal than I need to mix with copper to get aluminum bronze. So I, I, I don't know what I'm going to do with all of it, but it's one screen door worth. You know, you can't get like one-fifth of a screen door worth of extruded aluminum. It's one door or no doors. So I got one door for free. Uh, so that's nice. So we'll, we'll, we'll find something to do with it later. I'll mix it with something. Also keep in mind, this is well below uh, full power. I was testing at full power on the bench. I don't really feel like cranking it up to maximum uh, face melting power in this little foundry. I'm not quite sure uh, how well it'll burn and I don't want to risk it just like going out, filling up with propane and then exploding in my face. So, you know, be safe. I say playing with fire. That's a bad bit of hypocrisy there I caught on camera. Anyways, so the, the idea with this burner is that I'm going to make the next foundry uh, designed to work with this burner at full blast. And I'm going to spend a decent amount of time fiddling with it to make sure that's true. Uh, but this, this is more like, hey, these kind of fit together. Let's see if it makes fire. It, it should work better 
with the better furnace, which it does not exist. I keep saying better furnace. I don't I haven't built a better furnace yet. You know, get off my back. It's it's expensive. Those stuff, the parts are expensive. I'll, I'll make it eventually. It, I'll, I'll make it up to you. It'll be awesome. I'll make it much awesomer, and probably way over complicated. We're back just a few minutes later. So what I did is I put a bar here to kind of lift the back up to get the angle a little bit better. And then I just cranked it a little more pressure, got a little more heat, and it's getting toasty hot in there, let me tell you. How hot, ask nobody? Red hot. What you might not be able to see in there is the ingots are melting. Don't know how well that showed up on camera, but the ingots are melting, which means it's time for me to start feeding these in. Yeah, this is a small one. I got bigger ones. It's not the size of your extrusion, it's the heat of your furnace, or something like that. See, oh, oh yeah, that, oh, that is definitely a puddle. I don't even know how well this is gonna work. But I got, I got molten aluminum in there. Oh, oh, the pipe is falling. It's softening on the bottom. So one nice thing about this is the flames are circling out the top, heating up the pole. So it's getting pretty toasty before it ever touches the molten aluminum. Okay, I got another small one. I know what I'm gonna do. Stupid birds chirping, getting in the way of my manly activities, trying to make it seem like it's really a lovely day. Boom! Sad thing is the bird's right, it is a very lovely day. I'm kind of worried, if I do that, does it solidify? Oh, it doesn't solidify the melt. Nope. See, I'm worried about aluminum because it has great heat conducting uh, properties, so I'm afraid it'll suck the heat out and kick it out the top, but it... Oh, it already melted that thing in half. Okay, never mind, no more worries. I'll do that. This is not sped up, and it's just sinking right in there. Unless, of course, I sped it up in editing, in which case, I'm lying, I'm sorry. This is a much larger, more complicated extrusion. And just as an aside, for those of you who keep asking, is the plant still alive? There, there it is. Right here, plant is alive. It looks kind of crummy, because I threw it in the sun without uh, letting it acclimate, but it's still alive, quit bugging me. Let it never be said that I am a plant murderer. At least for that plant. I haven't murdered that particular one yet. This draw scooper makes an excellent tool to guide the thing in. I'm not like shoving it down, I'm just kind of holding it up straight so it won't like tip over or something. Now for a little one. Looks like the crucible is pretty much full. So I'm gonna turn this down. And it's burning back in the pipe. Whatever, I'm just gonna pull it out and shut off the gas. Move that. Okay, now dross. Scoop the dross. I said there'd be a lot of it. And I was not wrong. That is a lot of dross. Oh man, look at that. Multiple scoops, like I said, would happen. I'm just gonna pretend everything that happens was planned. Right? That's the way to do it. It falls off of this scooper quite nicely though. Huh. Probably should have... There. Let's knock that out of the way. Tongs. Under. Over. Kind of get that settled nicely. Ooh, look at that. On the surface. Mmm, muffins. This is working quite nicely, I gotta say. I'm really pleased with this. I didn't shape the handle like I said I wanted to, but you know, press for time. Press for time as always. I'm running out of muffins. Well, that's pretty much it. So, mission accomplished. Let's see, yep, those are still liquidy. I don't even need to hit this with a grinder. Most of it just fell right off. Cool. Those appear to be mostly cool. Good, good. All right, so to help prolong crucible life, put it back in this hot furnace and let it cool slowly. And this thing worked like a champ. I really like this. I still gotta bend the thing down so I got something better to hold on to, but Hey, that part worked flawlessly. That's pretty toasty, actually. That's like a super hot shower. All right, let's see what we got. Boom. Steamy. Steamy hot. That was only about half of the door. I wish I had a little more time. I could have done the whole thing. 
but it's worth it. Tomorrow's Easter. Ah, oh, Easter. I shouldn't have made egg-shaped ones. That would have been so much cooler. Some hours later, at, um, I don't have a watch, so sun's still up. And, and you know, it didn't actually rain. Guy said it was going to rain. It didn't rain. I don't know why I let's keep listening to him. See what I mean? Look. Sun. Notice how not raining it is right now. Anyways, back to the workbench. I got this many of these and this little nubbins. I did not use the flare. This burner seemed to work, oh, this burner seemed to work pretty good. I had it on like medium-ish, low, medium-ish. I did not crank it. I, I didn't, coward, I didn't crank it. And I found that two holes open seemed to work. Work in progress, but this worked fine. And the amazing thing is I was using my laser thermometer and this point here, you know, fire, metal, fire, metal. This never got above about 250. So never even hit 300 degrees. This didn't come anywhere close to melting. It was only a couple hundred degrees. And this pipe, it's actually a different pipe. And I, I attached with a set screw. I said I was going to weld it, but you know, laziness. Set screw is easier. This never got above about 100. I think the highest I saw this valve was 110. It'll get that hot sitting in the sun. There's really not a lot of junk. There's some junk in there. The top of the lid started getting cracked, and someone told me in the comments when I made this that I made a mistake not like tamping the concrete down or something, which you're supposed to do when you do concrete. And that very top layer has been flaking off, and underneath is like smooth, normal looking concrete. The bottom still looks pretty good. There's a couple of big cracks. I may have dropped it once. It was a success. Screen door has been destroyed. For those of you who keep saying you want to see it working, there you go. It works. And check this out. Dink! That all came right out. I just pulled it out. Now we have a clean crucible. Don't count on another me just melting things into ingots video. Uh, those are kind of boring. But this was a test of all of my cool new stuff. And a point about vocabulary. The furnace is not called a foundry. Someone corrected me on that. The assemblage of tools and equipment and the location where you melt and cast metal, that is called a foundry. So it's like if you found like an anvil and you called that a blacksmith shop. It's not. it's not. It's an anvil. It's part of a blacksmith shop, like a furnace is part of a foundry. So furnace incoming, but the rest of the foundry is coming along nicely.